Thank you for staying tuned in with us here at Fox News Rural Grande Valley. Let's begin tonight's forecast by going over our satellite and radar here in our southern region. Now currently here at home in the Rural Grande Valley at this time, as we can see, we aren't experiencing much precipitation. But taking a look at that national satellite and radar, currently the four corners of the nation is experiencing some heavy precipitation at this time. We can see that most of those thunderstorms are in the state of New Mexico. The northwest of the nation is also experiencing some slight precipitation over in the south. Southeast, there is some heavy precipitation with those thunderstorms. They're currently traveling towards the state of Florida and in the New England area. There is also heavy precipitation. Now for the next 24 hours here in the Rio Grande Valley, we aren't expecting rainfall here in our region. Taking a look at tonight's lows over in Star County. Tonight's low temperatures will drop down to those mid 70s at 76 degrees here at home in McAllen, 78 degrees over in Harlingen in those mid 70s at 76 degrees and South Padre Island. 80 degrees. Now for tomorrow, highs are expected to be in those mid 90s. It's going to be Thursday already. That week is flying by pretty quick. We can expect partly sunny skies and it will be a breezy afternoon. Wind speeds are expected to be traveling at a high of 20 miles per hour. Now taking a look at tomorrow's highs in the rest of the Rio Grande Valley over in Rio Grande City. Highs are expected to be in those mid 90s at 96 degrees. Mission 93 here in McAllen in those mid 90s as well at 96 degrees over in Harlingen. 95 degrees and South Padre Island 86 degrees. Now taking a look at those heat indexes, even though we aren't hitting those triple digit temperatures, those feel like temperatures are extremely hot. Those feel like temperatures for the next three days, as we could see, are at a high of 105 degrees. I do want to mention if you do spend long periods of time outdoors, especially if you do work outside or if you're outdoors with the kids or anybody elderly, just make sure you're staying hydrated, wearing light colored clothing, possibly a long sleeve. Make sure you're wearing sunglasses and protect your skin with SPF. And taking a look at those rain percentage chances, as we could see for the next seven days, we aren't expecting much rain fall till a week from today when that will rise to a 25% chance of rain. Taking a look at that extended forecast, tomorrow's already Thursday. I know a lot of us are already making those weekend plans. For tomorrow, highs are expected to be in those mid-90s across the Rio Grande Valley, and for the evening, those lows will drop down to 78 degrees. By Friday, temperatures will slightly rise. Highs are expected to be in those high 90s at 98 degrees. Lows will drop down to 77, but for Saturday, that's when it will be a hot one. Highs are expected to be in those triple digits at highs of 100 degrees and lows of 78. Perfect temperature to go to the beach if you ask me. Now that's going to finish off tonight's forecast folks, but stay with us because we still have a lot more.